Hi, I'm Brian. Have you backed up your data with CrashPlan, but now something has happened to it and you need to get some of it back? We call this process restoring your data. There are a couple ways to do it in CrashPlan, and let's talk about how to do it in the admin console. To begin, open the admin console and navigate to the device that backed up the files you want to restore. You can go to the active device list and find it there, but it's probably easier to enter the username in the search box and then select the device under that user. Once you're looking at the device detail page, you can click on the restore button, which looks like a curved arrow, to get started. You'll need to determine what type of restore you're wanting to do. For most purposes, we'd recommend using the device restore option. The device restore pushes the data from the archive to any device that you have the rights to control. Once you initiate it from the console, the device does the rest. If the device loses connection to the storage server, it will just pick up where it left off when it reconnects. A zip file restore is useful for getting a small number of files back quickly, creating a zip file that you can then download directly from the admin console. It requires that you remain logged into the admin console until the zip file is created and you download it. This type of restore is best used only if you're trying to grab a file or two quickly and is often disabled by your customer admins. Let's talk about how to perform a device restore. If you click on the target device box, you can enter the name of any device that you have access to. This will be where your data is sent. Select the desired device, then choose a path to restore to. You can automatically restore to the location where the file was backed up from, or you can choose another file path. Next, you'll see a box that says Restore Files As Of. This allows you to view the archive as it existed at a certain date. If you need to revert your data to what existed on a specific day, you can select that here. Otherwise, leave it blank to see the most recent data. Select the files that you want to restore, either by searching for them in the search box or by finding them in the file tree, then put a check next to the desired files and folders. If you do not see the files you are looking for, it may be that you need to put a check next to display hidden files or display deleted files, depending on what files you need but aren't seeing. If you click on the arrow next to a file, you'll be shown the date and time each version was backed up. You can select a specific one if you like, otherwise CrashPlan will restore the latest version. When you've selected your files, scroll down to the bottom of the restore window. You should see it calculating the size of the restore. You'll know it has completed when the checks appear next to folders, files, and total size selected. Once those checks appear, if you have all of the other settings as you want them, click on the restore button. Your files will now be sent to the device you selected, and you can find them there when the restore completes. If you're trying to restore a small number of files and opt for the zip restore, the process is the same except that you you don't have to choose a target device or path. Once you initiate the restore, you'll see a pop-up appear. Once the zip has been created, you can click the link in the pop-up to download the file and get your data back. That's how you restore from the console. As always, if you run into trouble, our support team is standing by. We've got you covered.